Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 27th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But Capricorn, let's see what is going on for you here. And uh, Capricorn, this is a very good reading here. I feel like some of you have learned your worth here in this first row. Um, this first, this skunk spirit here says that you need to know your worth, but I feel like in this reading, it's saying you know your worth. It's like maybe you have gone through a situation, a challenge, like a breakup or something like that here with these cards. And it's like saying that you have learned uh, what your true value is in your life. And you have the, you end with the Empress, very nice energy is what I'm going to say to you here, Virgo or Capricorn. Did I say Virgo? Sorry, I just did Virgo's reading. So Capricorn, now you start off with the skunk spirit says know your worth. I feel like you do know your worth is what this reading is saying. It's like you have discovered your true value. And I feel like this is very powerful as well. I also feel like for some of you, that you need to pay attention to a situation here. Very weird message, Capricorn, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if you've gone through a breakup recently, that this person was almost like bluffing is what this last row is telling me. Uh, why do people play these stupid games? I don't know, but you know what? I say I don't play with game players, so maybe you're just gonna kick this person to the curb. But I feel like for some of you, it's like someone broke up with you, but it's like uh, they were bluffing is what I'm saying, seeing here. It's like they wanted to see if you would fight, which to me, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. But um, yeah, I feel that for some of you. But through this process, through some sort of challenge, you have learned your true worth with that card. In this row here, you have the Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. I feel like something in the recent past, or maybe even over the past couple of years, has made you, has kind of like pushed you into your emotional depths with this uh, King of Cups card right here. I feel like something has kind of made you uh, go into yourself to find your worth, to find your value. Even this Page of Swords is a card of curiosity and digging into things. You have the Eight of Pentacles, again, a card of diligence, a card of paying attention to the small details. So I feel like you have really kind of like broken things down in your life. And I feel like you have gone through a death in a lot of ways, like a death type transformation in your life here. And I feel like you are seeing, like, look at how this chick, how this girl is sitting right here. She's like got all this stuff in front of her. She is seeing, and there's light glowing out of it. <laughs> I feel like you are seeing everything that is you, everything that you have. It's like you finally understand like what you bring to the table. You finally understand what you um, have to offer to the world empress or maybe you are finally understanding what you have to offer in love and relationships and it's like you're no longer willing to accept uh, anything less with these cards again we're going to clarify this in just a minute capricorn just so you know uh, but next you have this taking a risk card this card just kind of says it is safe to take some sort of risk in your life um, you know, again, this card, I always say this does not mean like some sort of crazy risk, like jumping out of an airplane without a parachute or something. This is a calculated risk, something where you have done your research, page of swords, where you have kind of looked into things, where you've figured things out. You know, this could be the type of risk where it's like maybe you're buying a car. You know, that could be a risk because it's like maybe you kind of have the money to do it, but maybe you kind of don't. So I feel like it's that type of risk where maybe you're. it's just a little bit of a stretch in your life. In this row here, you have the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. I do feel like this could be in love. So someone could be offering you love with that Ace of Cups, could be true love. And the Seven of Cups is you saying like, is this real? Is this person a snake? Or is this person a real person? Is this gonna make me happy? Or is this gonna make me sad? So I feel like for some of you, it's like you're kind of looking, the risk could be accepting love into your life. The Nine of Swords, I feel like, I feel like this is you for some reason. Um, but I feel like you're looking at a situation like you don't want to rush right into it. So for some of you, I feel like this is saying you're taking your time and you don't really want to rush right into something. You want to kind of see, um, you know, how things are going to happen. And sorry, Capricorn, I'm using the Light Sears Tarot, not the other one there. But anyway, I feel like you want to see how things are going to play out in a situation here with this Knight of Swords. It's like you're not rushing. So this is a very good energy. 
For others, I feel like you're just more focused on your heart here with the Ace of Cups. It's like you're more focused on things that are going to bring you fulfillment in your life. And th that's probably your focus. Uh, next, you have this All That Glitters card. Uh, this is like a good card. It does say like there could be some success coming in for you. But it can also say make sure that things are legitimate. Like, you know, the All That Glitters card can represent almost like excitement over something. Something is very shiny, like a shiny object here. But is it real? Is it fake? You know, Seven of Cups. Like, what? what is it? So I feel like research is going to be very important for you this week. And slowing things down is also going to be important as well. Like, I feel like there could be a love offer coming in for you here with this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a knight in shining armor. And you have the Empress here, someone who finds you very attractive. But it's like, you want to avoid this Nine of Swords here. I feel like you are wanting to avoid you know, potential heartbreak, potential sadness, potential sleepless nights, and all those other things. So I don't really feel like this is a bad reading with this Nine of Swords. I just feel like it's a reading that says, look, dig into things. And actually, I mean, this is a very good reading. These are very good cards. Even the Seven of Cups, very positive because it says you are spoiled for choice. You will have a lot of options in all areas of your life this week, Capricorn. But the Eight of Pentacles, even, again, it's a card of diligence. It says pay attention to the details. So I feel like this week, your only, you know, warning, which I don't even think it's a warning, I just think it's a message, is to uh, pay attention to the details and everything will be fine. Uh, again, in this row, you have the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Empress. For some of you, I, I do feel like this could be someone coming back from the past here and uh, I do feel like it could be someone who is, could, could have been a water sign. Could have been an earth sign as well, I feel. Definitely could have been water sign for sure. And I feel like this person is telling you how confused they were and, you know, all this other stuff. But I feel like you're looking at it like, you know, I had a lot of sleep sleepless nights over this person. I thought they were a shiny object, but really they were just a lot weaker or they were just wearing a mask the entire time. So I feel like this person could be coming back, like telling you all these great things. But at the same time, I feel like you're being very cautious, rightfully so, Capricorn, because I feel like you're like, you know, I thought you were my knight in shining armor, but you really hurt me. <laughs> so I feel like you're kind of questioning this. Like I said, I feel like you should. Seven of Cups to me is like, prove it type energy. Ace of Cups, it's like, maybe they're coming in with some sort of grand gesture, trying to win you back. If this is someone from the past, I would just be careful of that. Uh, for others, I feel like this could be a job that is coming in for you or work or business with this Nine of Cups. This is like a dream client or something like that. I feel like you need to move away from this Nine of Swords energy. I feel like this is the type of energy here in this last row where maybe your business is starting to expand. Maybe your job is starting to expand or maybe you're making more money in work or business. And this is like worries, this Nine of Swords. It's like worrying, like when is the bad thing gonna happen? You know, it's like, you know, like maybe in, in the past, you would make a bunch of money and it would all be taken away from you. And it's like, now you're like, when's that going to happen? So no stinking thinking here. Empress, a lot of abundance, a lot of success coming out of the cult with the Empress as well. So love it. But let's see what comes up for you here, Capricorn. And let's clarify between the Page of Swords here and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you have the Four of Clubs here. This is not a real Lenormand card. Uh, this deck that I'm using has some extra cards in it. And that Four of Clubs in the playing card reading system represents like Mercury retrograde. So for some of you, like I said, pay attention to the details. I feel like this could be like a grand gesture from a person, someone really coming in hot and heavy, <laughs> you know, c coming towards you in love. And But I feel like you need to make sure that everything is lined up, that it's like a real love offer, not something fake. Between the Eight of uh, Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups, yeah, you have the Heart, the Jack of Hearts. Really good card for love. Um, you know, this says that there, this could be a true love offer coming in for you. So I do feel like there could be true love. For others, that it, that it, this heart, heart card, if I can speak today, is a card of doing something that you love. And Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is like something that, um, you know, causes your emotions to overflow. So what the hell is this Seven of Cups doing here? We're going to clarify it again. But what I would say is that the Seven of Cups can say, like, maybe we want to be a professional rollerblader. Maybe we just want to rollerblade around all day. And that's what we want to do. Seven of Cups is, you know, your parents, it's everybody else saying to you that you can't rollerblade for a living, that you cannot have that dream. 
right? That's what the Seven of Cups is. But the Ace of Cups in the Jack of Hearts says you can have whatever you want. You can create whatever your heart's desire is. Maybe you start a podcast where you rollerblade around with people. I don't know. Could it, it, I'm sure it's possible. You could probably do it. I, I always joke and I always use the example of worm farming because there's like some guy on YouTube who has a huge, huge channel about worm farming and he probably makes a fortune. He's like selling products and all sorts of stuff. I'm like, if that guy can start something based off of worm farming. I don't care what your heart's desire is, Capricorn. You can have it. Guarantee it. Now, between the King of Cups here and the Knight of Swords, yeah, the Tower. It's like you're paying attention to the details. The Tower in the Lenormand card reading system is not like the Tower in the Tarot. It's a card of isolation. So some of you could have been feeling very isolated, obviously. But again, I feel like, remember what I was saying at the beginning, it's like you have realized your own worth. Isolation has taught you what your worth is. For some of you, the isolation could be coronavirus, obviously. For others, it could be a breakup. So I feel like that isolation has shown you something. It is a card of guidance. This tower on the Lenormand, on a traditional deck, it's kind of like standing above the clouds. And it's saying, you are gaining a lot of clarity. You are seeing, it, it's kind of like a beacon. You know, it's like something that stands out. So I feel like you have been guided. Uh, between the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Swords, yeah, you have the Queen of Spades. What what did I say? A gift. This card's called the Bouquet. Like I said, this is someone trying to come in, trying to sweep you off your feet again with the Nine of Cups. I would say, prove it. Seven of Cups, prove it. So whenever this person comes in, looks like some Freddie Prince Jr. ass, you know, mf -er. I can't say that word on YouTube anymore, but you, you get what I'm saying right here, you know? So that, what I would say here is that this person could be standing outside your window, put boom box over the head. I'd be like, I'd still be like, Chris from Middle Pond Tarot said, prove it, Seven of Cups, there you go. Uh, between the uh, Seven of Cups here and the King, Knight, the Knight of Cups, look at this, Three of Diamonds. Three of Diamonds is a very specific card in the playing card reading system. It is a card that says pay attention to your paperwork. So number one, I would be very, very careful. Look, you have Mercury retrograde right here. Three, and I, I realize that we're not in a retrograde, but this card represents retrograde energy, things that could go wrong during a retrograde. Three of diamonds, very specific in the playing card reading system. It says be careful of your paperwork, especially legal paperwork. So double check all your paperwork. Seven of Cups, confusion, three of diamonds, things not being clear. So I would double check all paperwork that you're signing this week. It's not a scary card, so don't be afraid of it. It's just a card that says double check, you know, make sure everything is up and up. Also, it's a card in this deck. It's called like lightning or something, and it can represent some sort of surprise. Again, for some of you, I do feel like someone could be coming back by surprise with this um, lightning card. I feel like this person... Like I said, Freddie Prince Jr. is what's popping into my head. There you go. Uh, between the Net of Swords here and the Empress, you have the Seven of Spades. Yeah, this is communication. So definitely could be surprising communication coming in for you here. Seven of Spades is called the letter and it represents communication. So it could be a letter, could be an email, could be a text message, uh, could be anything. But I do feel like this could be good news. It's like good news rushing in here. The Empress is winter to spring. Um, you know, to me, the Empress is kind of like coming out of the cold. So I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe you haven't had a job, maybe you're getting a job. Maybe you haven't had love, maybe you're getting love. So I feel like you're just getting something you desire. Definitely a harvest coming in for you here. In your top row outcome, you have these seven of clubs. The seven of clubs is a card called the mice. And it's like mice are very slow and methodical and they pay attention to the details. What have I been saying? This whole reading, pay attention to the details this week. I don't think it's a bad week at all. Like I said, this is actually pretty positive. Empress and the Eight of Pentacles here, King of Cups, you have the Ace of Hearts, really good cards, right? And, you know, even the Little Norman cards are pretty good, except for these two. But, um, you know, I would just pay attention to the details this week with that card or else, right? It's like something is not what it appears with this All That Glitters card, Capricorn. So I feel like something is not what you think it is. And I feel like paying attention to the details will reveal the answer. Again, for most of you or some of you, it could be a person. For others, it could be something you might purchase, like that's expensive. So do your research. For others, maybe you need to get a second opinion this week, I would say. You know, especially if something seems too good to be true or just doesn't seem right. In this middle row here, you have the fish. Yep, you're, this is a card of your soulmate. <laughs> so the fish represents your soulmate. It's the king of diamonds. 
And it represents someone coming in for you uh, who is your soulmate. So it could be a soulmate. Uh, it's also a card of a harvest as well. So for some of you, this could be like a financial harvest or abundance coming in for you here, Capricorn. In your bottom row, you have the two of clubs here. This is you and your higher self. The two of clubs in the playing card reading system is kind of like a card of talking to yourself, Capricorn. And um, so I feel like for some of you, this is like, a card that says you're talking to yourself. I just wanna pull one more outcome row here. I just wanna see um, what we have for you as a total outcome. Yeah, uh, I feel like this is pretty good for you. Uh, for your outcome row here, you have the nine of wands. It's like you're being a little bit defensive, but probably in a good way. So it's like you're being cautious, I feel. You have the 10 of wands here in this middle row. So again, it's like you're coming to the end of a long, exhausting journey that you've been on for a long period of time. I feel like if this is a person that caused these burdens and that's coming back, I feel like you will be very cautious. Uh, the uh, Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you will be kind of like deciding to move forward very slowly with this person if you even decide to take them back. For others of you, I feel like you are just kind of like finally moving in the right direction. It's like you're going from the Ten of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, a lot of burdens, long, exhausting journey. Knight of Pentacles is like finally working towards certain goals, wishes, or dreams that you have. And it's like, it doesn't matter how long. It's it, it, This guy right here, he doesn't care how long something takes. He's going to achieve it. He's going to get there. Uh, and he knows that and he just keeps moving forward. So, uh, you know, typical Capricorn energy, right? But this looks pretty good. Very interesting reading. So thank you for watching and uh, definitely enjoy your week.